we are. We're back live again. I went live a little bit ago and didn't have any sound, so I'm gonna delete that video. This one will be even quicker. So here we have a 10 kW 36 panel. It's over 10 kW. It's the ground mount we just built, and we're coming back into the Solark, the uh, EMP proof grid tie battery backup inverter. And then we also have some some DC direct appliances. We have a DC direct solar air conditioner and we have a DC direct water heater. So water heater's coming in about 100 volts. Air conditioner is about what, 130? Six panels, 180, could be as much as 180. So, so inevitably, you have this many circuits coming up, you're gonna have to do some switching. So it can get really expensive to try to switch high voltage strings out of the solar array. Um, and, and sometimes you gotta fuse them, stuff like that. So this is all about the switch, the switch, the switch, the switch. These are IMO switches. The side of the switch. It's a UL listed switch. They're made in Austria. This one is a Good for 16 amps at 600 volts. This is a box I got from Industrial Control Direct. And uh, I can mount a lot of disconnect switches in here. So this is a nice little AC disconnect. This is a part of the wiring of the solar array. If anybody's watching this video, tell me if you can hear me because nobody could hear me on the last video. The big boss is Wiring up that array, showing the sturdiness like a looking good. This is our, we're building Iron Ridge ground mounts right now because there ain't no shredders left. The last Shledadonia proved that. So this is a pipe mount. We built it on schedule 42 inch pipe. Spun in. We call them ground screws or helical earth anchors. Hey boss. What's up? Show him the switch oh. real quick. Sorry, why well, don't I just give team you with the wire? Sorry. Our favorite IMO switches? They're, they're, I mean, it's probably not my favorite switch in the world, but it'll get you out of a jam. So this More is a nice little enclosed switch. This one's a 25 amp, 600 volt switch, four pole. This is the same, uh, the, these are some of the switches that are going on the side of solar SMA. inverters, SMA inverters. They go on the side of uh, solar edge inverters, I believe. And it's just a nice little DC switch. Reasonable. That is reasonable. What is it? I think this one's like 50 bucks. And you can put it in there. A lot of time I'll mount two cord grips on there and put this up next to the array. It's kind of like a poor man's rapid shutdown. <laughs> But uh, the box is not the most robust box ever. Be careful with those knockouts. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, it does what it, you need it to do. And there's there's DIN rail mountable solutions as well. So I'll, if you want to mount it in some DIN rail, you can put it in there and, you know, switch to your heart's content. So we found out about these boxes, what, probably two years ago? Yeah. Well, we thought they were, we thought they were, here's the, how the anchor looks once we bolt to it. We thought they were not going to work, but they're all working good. And when we saw the guys at the solar show, oh, from Pike yeah, they were telling us that switch is legit. Pike is the one that told us yeah, to use it. Yeah. Pika told us to use it. So I think an MN SOB 4X 4P, a four pole shutoff box for midnight is like 500 bucks. And uh, that's just crazy. So that would switch four poles, which I can switch four poles with this, and it's under a hundred dollars. No, it's not going to rain. Better not rain. My firewood pile's uncovered. It's uh, winter time, Thanksgiving week, and an undisclosed location. The bucks were real frisky this morning. Hey, I got six people watching this video. Can anybody tell me if they can hear me or not? And then uh, one other thing, I'll show you on this ground mounts we take a lot of time on these ground mounts to wire our arrays there's one of the one of the uh, rare 90 degree panel clips you don't see those often 
There's another panel clip in action, holding the wires. Trying to get this array, get a 20 year wire. Oh, Cash Dollar says he can hear us. <laughs> and his name's Cash Dollar. All right, so we try to get a 20 year wire job. So, you know, there's some benefits to these pipe mounts. They are country strong. What else is a benefit to a pipe mount? Difficult sight, you can spin in an acre. So, um, uh, readily available materials, somewhat readily available. We, uh, it's easy to work on the ground. It's not all tore up or muddy. Just run them right in the grass. Now that's a, that would be an advantage of a ground screw. What's an advantage of a pipe mount over a shredder? Nothing. <laughs> Good, <ca> burn more <laughs> calories, huh? You can, um, add days. You could eat more sun. time to bond and turn on each other. <laughs> that's not what bonding means, I don't think. Turning on each other. Any advantages for a, pi a pipe mount over a shredder, post mount? The terrain. Yeah, this is a difficult terrain. I mean, you can see the hill going on. I'll try to show you the hill. Mount this on the side of a hill. Might go live and show you the sole arc later on. There's the, there's the array. And then there's the side of the hill. So this sucker's it's right on the side of the hill and she's right on the lake. Now the lake is not usually this high. They lower the lake. There's something wrong with it right now. And they wanted it just as close to the lake as they could have it because the house is up kind of in the way of the house. We also use Trina black modules. You can see the black modules. They got black back sheets and they're all black. So this was a tough one. And then we trenched. A lot of time, people are asking, you know, can you how? What's the most you can go before you can't? Well, how, what's the farthest distance you can have your solar from your house? This trench is over 250 feet, and she's going to have very little voltage drop. So, this is Johnny Valentine with Gain Solar, showing you my switch video. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Like and subscribe to this video. Johnny Valentine with Gain Solar signing out.